So as build, um, I'm going to, uh, I hope, give you some pointers which are, I hope, going to be of interest to you sort of way beyond today and even way beyond um, squared. I'm going to talk to you about success um, and uh, your idea of success, my idea of success. And it'll be a kind of string of sort of anecdotes and things that I've learned uh, over my long years in this industry. Um, and kind of the things that I hoped that somebody, uh, that I wished somebody had said to me when I was 23 and kicking off um, of my uh, career in advertising. Now, if you're anything like me, you, you maybe would like to start, start with a definition of success and what it means. Um, I read philosophy at university, um, uh, university which was criticized by everybody for, um, you know, for never actually getting to the point of anything because it always wanted to spend its time defining terms. So I can't help but sort of do that. Um, and we will come back to uh, the, so a definition uh, of success um, uh, uh, because I think it's kind of important. And as I say, I can't, I can't not do it. Um, but in order to kind of make our way through this uh, in a way which is kind of sensible and has a flow to it, um, I'm going to um, offer you my uh, slightly cheesy top 10 tips for success. Um, so um, uh, let's get straight to it. Um, first uh, top 10 tip is... Um, listening in a different way. Um, yeah, sorry about the listen different. I did philosophy, not English, at, uh, at university. And uh, this is a kind of maybe slightly kind of obvious point, but listening in the workplace is completely different from listening at school, at university, at college, and uh, in, in really all other kind of forms of, of location. It's different from listening in lectures where you tend to sort of just download a large amount of information for processing at some uh, later time. Workplace listening involves, for instance, listening out for, for what people are not saying. It, it includes trying to figure out what people's agenda uh, is, um, what the person, uh, uh, what, what, what it is that they're trying to achieve from the particular meeting, particular engagement that they're having with you. Their style, their approach, maybe their character. Uh, are you hearing facts about a situation or something that has more to do with their personal ambition than the business task uh, uh, ahead? Or maybe even their insecurities, and particularly when one's dealing with, uh, with people's career issues and so on. And maybe you're hearing quite a lot about that kind of thing. And at work, you encounter a great diversity of people uh, and ideas. And some will be fascinating, intriguing, and broaden your mind. Uh, others will be, frankly, idiots who will waste your time. And you know, figuring out the difference between the one and the other uh, will, uh, will help. So an upgraded approach to listening, I think, is quite important to help you to discern between the two. So listen with uh, new ears. And here's my tip number two. Um, appraise what you hear and make your own mind up about it. This is a rather patronizing thing to say to you, I realize. Uh, but this is, comes under the heading of what I wish somebody had said to me. Because um, I, 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 surrounded as I was in my developmental years by supportive parents and, uh, and marvelous teachers and caring employers and so on, I, I actually found myself kind of almost without really thinking about it, just adopting other people's uh, approaches. Um, it took me quite a long time to realize this wasn't really any good, you know, trying to sort of uh, you know, mash up the various things that had been said to me and, and figure out a course which is going to upset the least number of people. Um, it's no good that. You need your own point of view, not just be expert at navigating a way through, uh, through other people's, um, trotting out some cocktail of, of what other people uh, might have thought. Um, you know, regrets, I've had a few. But then again, too few, too few to mention. It's Frank. It's Frank. Um, I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. Frank Sinatra, you know, Frank Sinatra. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway, and more, much more than this, I did it their way. <laughs> Not good, is it? Not much of a success. So you see, one of the truly great things about the industry that you're joining, and if you stick in this industry, is, is that it's in flux. It has been profoundly disrupted by digital technology, and frankly, no one really knows what's going to happen. So we're surrounded by conflicting ideas, some of them good, some of them bad, all of them ideas that you can weigh, accept, reject, or can maybe put on, side, on, on one side uh, for later. And success is linked to your ability to discern the inspiration from the fluff and the relevant from the irrelevant. So spend the time to figure out what are your personal views, the developments in this world. And, and I say spend the time because, frankly, then with the way that one's career goes, you know, there really is a kind of constant sort of flow of stuff. You could very easily just do, 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 and never think. It's important to spend that time. 
So you know, what what is your view on on the privacy debate? Uh, you know, on on cookies, and which we hear this morning, most companies have failed to come to grips with. You know, this one is going to run, run and run. So what are your instincts about it? What do you think about it? 